Noah's in Sacramento. Hi, Noah. How can we help? Hey, Dave. Uh, I've got a question. I've got a uh, considerable amount of student debt in a Parent PLUS loan, <clears throat> and I'm trying to figure out how to make uh, affordable payments on a loan that's in my parents' name that feels, that feels a little bit un unaffordable at the moment. What's the total amount of debt? Uh, it is one seventy-five. And Good Lord, are you a doctor or a lawyer? Neither one. What did you get your degree in? Uh, Christian Ministries. I'm a pastor. For $175,000? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Bad choice. And um, got, that was not, you may be called to the ministry. You weren't called to this mess. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I agree. What is, your, what is your household income? Uh, 60000 Oh, son. I'm so sorry. So mom and dad took out these loans, the Parent PLUS loans? Correct. And they can't pay them? They, they, I mean, they can pay part. Our agreement was that we would split it half mm -hmm. before I went to school. That was the, that was the agreement. Okay. Mm. Are they struggling to pay them right now? They've been in deferment and, and forbearance and whatnot, so nobody's made any payments on them at this point. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, my parents' household income is considerably more uh, than ours. We're just trying to figure out, uh, again, I, I don't know how a lot of this works, but I've uh, been told by the, the lender and whatnot that we can't, like, consolidate them into my name or anything no, like that. Can't. And so we're you just can't. trying to figure out what you to just do. Have to, they're going to be in their name. You're just going to assist in the payment of it. And so they're going to give sure. you like their password and the website, and you're going to jump on there and pay payments on their loan. It's their loan. It's going to be their loan until it's over. But you're just right. your okay. your your moral agreement, your handshake is that you're picking up half of it. And so, Correct. um, what what does your wife make? Uh, she's not working at the moment. We have a young daughter, and she's pregnant. Literally nine days past her due date today. Oh wow, with that's our good. Second kid. Good. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, so I, I assume you. she's planning on going back to work, though. Uh, yeah, when when we don't have very young children, yes, that's the plan. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you're just going to be paying payments on this, Noah. Noah um, and the math is telling me that this is a highly stressful situation. So I, it is. I I, I, I think you're going to be running. You're going to be what we call a bivocational pastor. Uh, you're going to be running side hustles of some kind. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't give. It doesn't. Most pastors, statistically, one number I saw was 80 percent of them are bivocational in America right now. And there's no shame in that. It's not. It doesn't diminish your call. It doesn't do any of that. But uh, it's not unusual at all for a, a young pastor to be bivocational. And you're going to have to have some more money. It's a mathematical problem you got.